Hey, hey, so we have lesson four of this straight line chapter in unit one, and we're now looking at something called the distance formula. And you're probably thinking, why would you want a distance formula in higher? Well, the distance is just really the length. And imagine if you were asked something like this. Imagine if you were asked to find the distance between the points 3, 2 and 6, 6. I know there's quite a few of you probably scratching your heads, but there's others thinking, oh, I remember how you do this. I can just create a right angled triangle and plot the points. So say you had something like this, you've got 3, 2, you've got 6, 6, you've plotted these points, you drew the line between them, and you could then get your right angle triangle. You would need to know the length of this horizontal line and this vertical line here. And the way you can do that is, let's go for the vertical line, if you know this point has a height of 2 and this point has a height of 6, well between them, if you do 6 take away 2, you would get 4. So you know that would be a length of four. For the horizontal line, well, you're coming along three to get to this point. You're coming along six to get to this point. So between three and six, again, take them away. Six take away three we give you a length of three. Really what we're doing then is for any of the points, in order to work out the length, you subtract the y coordinates to find out the vertical height. And you can subtract the x coordinates to find out this horizontal height. What can you do after that then? Well, from there, you could work out the length of this line between A and B by using this formula. So you've got the square root of the y2 take y1 all squared plus the x2 take x1 all squared. And I can hear Sahana shouting at the screen saying, is that not just Pythagoras? Well, yes, Sahana, it is. You've got this length here, AB. You're just wanting to square the other two sides. You add them and then take the square root. So really, like Batman, it's just the Pythagoras theorem in disguise. So a couple of examples with that. Example one, find the distance between the points A and B. So to do that, really, you've got this formula here. It's your distance formula. Again, it's really just Pythagoras. You can just sub the values in for y2 take y1 and x2 take x1. If you do that, then you will end up with the square root of, and then y2 take y1 is going to be the 2 minus 7, all squared, plus the negative 8 take 5, all squared. Simplify that, that gives you negative 5, this gives you negative 13. If you square the numbers, well, negative 5 times negative 5 is positive 25, and negative 13 times negative 13 is 169. Note here, it is positive numbers. When you're squaring a negative, it becomes positive. And if you square positive, it's positive. It should always be positive numbers, and you are always going to be adding for the distance formula, because really it's the hypotenuse that you're wanting to find. Add them together, you would get 194. And take the square root of that, again, round it to one or two decimal places, and you've got 13.93 or 13.9. We don't know what the units are, so we can just write units on the end. Example two. This time, triangle PQR has vertices P, Q, and R at these points. Calculate the lengths of PQ, QR, and R. P. So to do this, we'll do them one at a time. Let's say we want to work out the length of PQ, first of all. So you could just go to the side and sketch we diagram, and that'll give you a rough idea of what the shape's like, what the lengths will be like, and so on. You don't have to do this, but it might just give you a wee better picture. So working out PQ, to do this, we know the points. So again, we can sub them into this distance formula up here. So first of all, we have the square root of, and then y2 take y1. So if we're looking at p and q, it's going to be 3 minus 5 all squared. And then x2 take x1 is going to be 7 minus negative 3 all squared. If you work them out, 3 take 5 will give you negative 2. 7 take away negative 10. Remember when you subtract a negative, you add. So it's 7 add 3, which will give you 10. Uh, square them, you would get 4 add 100 which is 104, and you want to take the square root. So again, round it to one or two decimal places, so you get 10.2 or 10.20, and put in units, because we don't know if it's in centimetres or metres or whatever it's in.
That's us worked out PQ. Just do the same thing for QR. So solution for QR. Once again, we know the points. We've got Q and we've got R. We know it's 7, 3 and negative 1, negative 5. So you can sub the values in. So Y2 take Y1 is negative 5, take away 3. Add X2 take X1 is going to be negative 1, take 7. You'd have negative 8 all squared plus negative 8 all squared. Again, because you're squaring a negative, it would become positive. So you've just got 64 add 64 which is 128, and take the square root of that. So 11.31, or 11.3 units. And the very last part. So work out the length RP, so between R and P. To do that, you're wanting to use these two points, R and P, and you can do that by just, again, subbing the values in. So Y2 take Y1 is going to be Y2, take away Y1, so negative 5 take away 5, all squared plus x2 take away x1 is negative 1 add negative or sorry negative 1 take away negative 3 all squared so you've got 10 squared plus negative 2 squared which will give you 100 add 4 which is 104 and then square root it and you get 10.2 or 10.20 units one final final question then because I know there's some people like Sandy who are really thinking about this and have probably worked something out. But Sandy's probably thinking just now about what type of triangle PQR is. Anybody else have any idea? That is right. It is an isosceles triangle. And it's isosceles because it does have two sides of the same length. PQ is the same as RP. For RP we got 10.2. And for PQ, we also got this 10.2 units. So these lengths are the same, meaning it is an isosceles triangle. That's the examples for the distance formula. So once again, here's some questions for you to try on your own. That's a textbook page. You can also use the other textbooks. But give this a shot, see how you're finding it, and just ask me if you need any help.